Abortion is not a type of contraception. If you are not ready to have a child, sit down with your spouse and have a chat and discuss the type of contraception you want to use. When you are choosing any type of contraceptive, please note these. Is it safe? How effective is it? And the side effects. Most things have side effects, but you should be comfortable with any side effects that comes along with this. In this video, we are going to talk about non-hormonal contraceptives, meaning types of contraceptives that do not play around with your hormones. If you want to find out more, please continue watching this video. This is Time with Dr. Adams, and please subscribe. Thank you. Time with Dr. Hi there, welcome to another episode of Time with Dr. Adams. If today is your first time on my channel, thank you. My name is Dr. Saki, you can call me Dr. Adams. I'm a medical doctor and on this channel I talk about health issues, love, faith and about life in general. Today we are talking about non-hormonal contraceptives and the first one is abstinence. If you follow me on social media, you should know that I'm a big fan of teen chastity. If you are not married, or you're not ready to have children, please, abstaining from sex is the best form of contraception in the whole world. world. It is 100% effective. It protects you against STIs. And there are no side effects at all. Time with Dr. Adams. Fertility Awareness Methods these methods use your monthly fertility pattern, which will help you to get pregnant or avoid getting pregnant. Your fertile pattern is the number of days in the month when you are ovulating, meaning you are fertile so you can get pregnant should you have sex. So these days, please do not have sex. And on your infertile days, these are the days when you are not ovulating. Should you have sex on these days, you won't get pregnant. Examples of such methods are, we have the calendar methods, we have the application methods, the apps where you can download on the internet to track your ovulation. We have the cervical mucose methods where you use the thickness of the mucose around your cervix to determine whether you are ovulating or not. We also have the temperature method. In this method, you measure your temperature every morning before you get out of bed to determine whether you are ovulating or not. And we have the coitus interruptus method that is also called the withdrawal method. In this method, the partners need to trust themselves and a lot of patience is needed and the expertise as well because during sex the man will have to pull out his penis from the vagina before he ejaculates so the man should not ejaculate into the woman these methods are not so effective their effectiveness depends on the person using it and they do not protect against stis the next method is the lactational amenorrhea method for breastfeeding mothers. For this to work, you need these conditions. One, amenorrhea. That is, you not having your menstrual period after delivering a baby. Two, fully or nearly fully breastfeeding. That is, you are doing exclusive breastfeeding. Three, you should be less than six months that is after delivering your baby now i want you to note that these methods cannot be completely trusted because there have been cases where women were using this lactational amenorrhea and still got pregnant they work with the level of the prolactin so as long as you are breastfeeding your prolactin hormones are very high and Physiologically, you are not supposed to get pregnant, but hormones can misbehave sometimes. So if you decide to use this lactational amenorrhea or breastfeeding uh, contraceptive methods, then please use it together with another birth control method. And I want you to note that this method doesn't protect you against STIs. The next method is condoms. 
Condoms prevent sperms from getting into the vagina. We have the male condoms and we have the female condoms. Condoms are very popular. They are easy to use and they come in different types. They are the non-lubricated ones you have the lubricated ones you have the latest and it comes in different colors and spices as well rainbow so you can choose according to your taste this has a 94 to 98 percent effectiveness but please note that condoms can break hence they do not protect against stis the next method are the diaphragm or the cervical cup. Diaphragm or the cervical cup, they have the same way of working. They have 84 to 94% effectiveness. These comes in forms of silicon or latex cups that is placed inside the vagina to cover the cervix. And this will prevent the sperm from entering the uterus. This is how it works. It must be used together with the spermicide. And what a spermicide does is to kill spams. This diaphragm or the cervical cup must be left in place for about six hours after sex. And please note that it does not protect against STDs. The next method is the contraceptive sponge. Effectiveness of this is 70 to 80% for women who have had a child before and 85 to 90 percent effective for those who've never had any child before the sponge contains spermicide to kill the sperms and is placed inside the vagina to cover the cervix so that sperms do not enter the uterus also, the sponge must be left inside the vagina for at least six hours after sex. And please note, it does not protect against STIs. Next method, we have spermicides. These products work by killing sperms and come in several forms. We have the gel, the cream, the film, the suppository, or the tablet they are placed in the vagina for less than an hour before you have sexual intercourse and it should be left there for at least eight hours after you are done with your sexual intercourse it has 75 percent effectiveness and for best results please use it in addition to the male condom or together with the diaphragm or the cervical cup and please note it doesn't protect against stis the next method is the copper intrauterine device also known as copper iud this is in the shape of a T. It's a T-shaped device made from plastic and copper. It is inserted into the uterus by your doctor and it can last up to 10 years. This is easily removable because there is a syringe attached to the bottom and it can be removed any day at any time by your doctor. Copper IUDs do not affect your ovulation. It works by impairing the movement of the sperms and also changes the lining of the uterus so that the eggs cannot be implanted. And then again, please note, this method does not protect you against STIs. We have the tubal ligation or what we call the tying of tubes. This is a permanent method. Though there have been cases where people have said it's irre reversible, it wasn't successful. So please note that it is a permanent method of contraceptive. In this method, the woman's fallopian tube are tied so that the sperms and the eggs will not meet for fertilization. It can be done in a hospital as a surgical procedure or even on OPD basis where you can go home the same day. And because it's as permanent, it has a 99% effectiveness. It is permanent and long term. And please note, this also does not protect one against STIs. 
Then we have the vasectomy. Vasectomy is the permanent method of contraception for men. It can be done on OPD cases and so that you go home on the same day. The vast difference are cut and sealed. So this will prevent the sperms from entering into your penis. So that any time a man ejaculates, the semen he is ejaculating has no sperm in it to be able to fertilize an egg. This also has 99% effectiveness. But it takes three months after the procedure for the semen to be sperm free. And I repeat, after you've done this vasectomy, the man will need three months for his semen to be sperm free. It is permanent and it also does not protect against STIs. So these are the non-hormonal methods we have. Amongst all that I've said, the condoms are the only ones that protect you against STIs. Thank you for watching. In our next episode, we are going to talk about the hormonal contraceptive forms. Please, if you want to find out more, let's meet in our next episode. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. -o. See ya. Time